love you, Jesus. Come on, tell him how much you love him from the most inner depths of your heart. Lord, we love you, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. Lord, we're so thankful, we're so grateful, God. For your mercies, Lord, we're so grateful, Lord, for your kindness and your goodness. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you with all of our hearts, God. We thank you, Jesus, for your finished work. We thank you, Jesus, for your finished work. We thank you, Lord, that you have not left us orphans, Lord, but that you called us by name. We thank you, Lord, that you risen us, Lord, from the miry clay, Lord. Lord, you took us out of darkness, Lord, and you brought us into light, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you chose us, Lord, before we were ever even born. We thank you, Jesus, that by your Holy Spirit, you came to bring us revelation of who you are. When the name of Jesus was lifted up, amen? Come on, when the name of Jesus was lifted up, when you heard the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost drew you in. He spoke to you. He revealed to you. He opened up your eyes. And so, Lord, we're so grateful, God. Lord, we honor you. Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. grateful this this evening are you thankful for what God has done come on what he what he's done in you what he's done in your family what he's done in your situations and your circumstances what and what he's going to do amen come on what do you have faith for tonight amen hallelujah what do you have faith for tonight what do you believe in God for amen come on the Lord says that he puts these desires on the inside of each and every one of us and the Lord wants to give you the desires of your heart amen come on the Lord wants to answer he wants to answer he wants to deliver amen according to his good pleasure hallelujah come on we serve a living God amen come on we serve the king of kings and the lord of lords amen come on let's give him some praise right now hallelujah we thank you Jesus we thank you 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 Jesus but we are in a place of victory, amen? Everybody say, I'm on the victory side. I'm on the victory side. Amen. Do you believe that? Come on, let's give Jesus one more clap, and then you can have a seat. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Well, tonight, we're going to do a prayer night. Amen. Come on, who's excited about that? Hallelujah. We're going to do a prayer night tonight. We're going to have a corporate night of prayer. We're going to believe God for big things. Amen. Come on. How many of you guys have a vision? Who has a vision in this place? Amen. Come on. You get this corporate vision that we get to be a part of as a church family. Amen. Come on. We get to connect to this church, this corporate vision for this region, for, for our families, for, you know, just, I mean, it's connected to everything. Amen. And then we get to have our own personal vision. Amen. Come on. Do you have a vision? Hallelujah. Well, when you have a vision, you know the direction that you're going to go. Isn't that wonderful? Come on. It's called having faith, believing in God, believing in his word, believing in what he's called each and every one of us to do. Amen. And we're only here to do what God has called each and every one of us to do. Can I get a witness? 
Amen, amen, and amen. Well, tonight we're going to do, um, we're going to, um, like I said, do some prayer. Um, I'm just going to teach briefly on prayer a little bit. And, uh, you know, you have to know that when it comes to prayer, it's never a good thing for a believer to pray from, from a position of victim. You, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, in the Old Testament, they would beg God, right? They would plead, right, from a, from a certain place. But if you're born again, if you're a born again believer, amen, how many of you guys know that you have everything that you possibly could ever need? Come on, you got the Holy Ghost. You got God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost living on the inside of you. Amen. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit bears witness that you are saved, that you are born again, that you are a child of God. Amen. And so when you are, when you are bearing witness with the Holy Ghost like that, then the prayer position, it's, a different, it, it, it's, it's from a good place. Amen. It's from a good place, amen. Amen. Can I can I get my can I get my church family to be in agreement here? Hallelujah. 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 Everybody just close your eyes. Father God, Lord, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're here to surrender everything to you, God, tonight. Lord, every single day of our lives, Lord, but Lord, right now we are setting aside time, Lord, to be in corporate worship. And we're so grateful, Lord, that we get to be in your presence, Lord. Lord, we know that you are here in this place. Amen. Come on, Lord, we know that you are here in this place. We don't doubt, but we know. We know. We have faith. We believe. We know. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that heaven is even operating in this room even as we speak, God. We thank you, Lord, that, that, that what is your will in heaven is happening here right now. And so, Lord, we are very mindful, we are very aware, we are very cognizant of what you're doing right now, Lord. Lord, we are, we are pinpointed focused on you, God. We will not look to the right or to the left, but Lord, we will look to you, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you made a way where there seemed to be no way. God, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we could get to bask in the presence and in the glory of God. And not only do we get to bask in your presence, Lord, but the glory actually lives on the inside of us. And so, Lord, we press in, Lord. Tonight, tonight is a night of pressing in, Lord. Lord, tonight we press in. Amen. We press in. We press in past the flesh. We press, press in past the veil. And, Lord, we know, Lord, that you are pleased, Lord, that you are happy, Lord, that it brings you great joy when we do what's according to your will, God. So, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Well, hallelujah. Welcome tonight. Um, let's just talk a little bit about prayer. And so um, I just want to share with you some tips on, on, on how to pray. Amen. Um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of people, and it's not this church, thank you, Jesus, right? But we have a relationship with Jesus. Amen. Everybody say, I got a relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. And out of that relationship is where your prayer comes from. Amen. It's actually where ministry comes from, right? Out of your relationship with God, out of your love for God is why you do what you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in other words, when you're here, whether it's soul winning, evangelizing, whether it's working at the church, whether it's prayer, whatever the case may be, the reason why you do that is, is because of who God is in your life. Amen. Amen. Come on. You're not doing it for anybody else, right? You're doing it for Jesus. Amen. And so when we come to him, we, you know, uh, you know, a lot of times, and, and, and we've been there, done that, and I'm sure that everybody has done it, you know. Um, but one thing that I learned is, is that when I approach God, I always approach him through thankfulness. Everybody say thankfulness. Amen. So gratefulness and thankfulness goes a long way. Amen. It's called having thanksgiving in your heart. Everybody say, I have thanksgiving in my heart. Amen. So when you approach, approach the Lord, there's a good habit that you could get into where instead of you saying, oh, Lord, you know, you know and, and going into all this kind of craziness. Listen, does the Lord know what you deal with, yes or no? The Bible actually says, literally, Jesus says, don't pray prayers of repetition. Why? Because the Lord already knows what you have need of. Amen. And so the Lord knows what your circumstances, what your 
dealing with, you know, in, in your mind, in your soul, what you're dealing with circumstantially, right? The Lord actually knows, amen? So when we come to God, there's really only one way to come to God, and that's through thanksgiving. Now, thanksgiving is a reflection of faith. Do you hear what I'm saying? So in other words, when you approach God, what is the very thing that pleases God? The Bible says that faith pleases God, amen? So when you come to God, you're coming with thanksgiving and you have faith, amen? Faith is connected to that thanksgiving. Can I get a hallelujah? Your faith is connected to everything that you do and, and everything that you bring to the Lord, amen? Everything that you do for the Lord has to do with faith, amen? Has to do with love as the foundation, your faith that you actually believe. And then when you believe it, then you could have that thanksgiving and that gratefulness rooted on the inside of you so that when you come to God, you're like, oh, Lord, thank you so much for everything that you've ever done in my life. Thank you for your goodness, and I'm telling you right now, when you have that heart of thankfulness, what happens is you get a little bit overwhelmed. Say, I could get overwhelmed with thankfulness. Amen. Come on, how many of you guys ever thought about how good he is? I think it was the other day I was talking to um, somebody. Oh, yes. Who was I talking to? I was talking to one of, one of the peeps over here. But we were talking about that song, Goodness of God. Right? And um, so the other day when um, Pastor Joe was... Um, well, um, when Pastor Alex was preaching and um, Pastor Joe um, and Pastor Becky were, were singing, they started singing the song, Goodness of God. Now, I have a confession to make. <laughs> I've never been a fan of the instrumental way of the way that that song is. So it's never been my favorite song. Okay. Now, when I said that to somebody, somebody said, what? What are you talking about, dude? What's wrong with you? Are you even saved? No, just kidding. They didn't say that. But, but it felt like that, <laughs> you know. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what's wrong with me? Why would I love that song? I do love the song, the lyrics, right. But the instrumental wasn't necessarily my favorite. But what ended up happening was um, Pastor Alex was praying for me. And when he prayed for me, literally what I was thinking at that moment, he came and he brought the word. And, man, it touched me so hard. And then all of a sudden, Pastor Joe started singing goodness of God. And all of a sudden, my heart got completely overwhelmed with the presence of God through that song. And like this person said, it hit different. <laughs> the song hit different. Amen. And so when, when, it, when it hit me, I started, I, I remember that there's been many times where I've shared my testimony. We talked about a testimony before. Amen. How many of you guys have a testimony? Now, have you ever thought about how many testimonies you actually have? Have you ever thought about it? Can you even remember? Sometimes we can't even remember some of the old testimonies that are like seven, eight years ago. But I literally have this way of being able to remember so many different circumstances, so many ways that God literally came, showed up, and did something absolutely amazing. And from time to time what happens is, is that as you talk about these things to people, I could actually spend hours talking about the goodness of God. And what happens is, is that as you spend time talking about the goodness of God, the Lord can literally overwhelm you about how amazing he is. Like literally, <laughs> I've realized how merciful God has been in my life. Like, all right, I'll break it down for you. I was supposed to die when I was six years old. You guys, many of you guys know that. Eight days in a coma, was going to die. Prepare the funeral service. The Lord took me out two hours later. Indian doctor comes in. We don't understand. The Lord saved me. The Lord healed me from cancer a year and a half ago, two years ago. Literally, two months later, um, you know, um, when I did my other scan after pastor prayed for me, cancer's gone. Literally, the Lord saved me from this and that. And, and there's so many different instances. The Lord has, and, and this is, so this is me sharing my testimony, right? Casting out demons, healing the sick, leading thousands of people to the Lord. Back in um, when we were doing where, where we had the biggest amount of souls um, um, a couple of years back, I literally led over 3,000 people to the Lord. And I'm thinking about this stuff and I'm just talking, right. I'm just talking about the goodness of God. And as I'm talking about the goodness of God and how the Lord has used me and how the Lord has saved me, it actually becomes sometimes very over overwhelming. Hear me. When you talk about the goodness of God and what he does, it actually can become so super highly overwhelming when you actually sit down to meditate, to think about what he actually did. So for me, it's very easy for me to approach God through prayer in the attitude of thanksgiving. Do you understand? And so this is very important for each and every one of us. Think about what the Lord has done. Think about how many times he saved you. Even the times that you don't even know about. 
There's probably times that you don't even know about where the Lord, you know, something happened and you don't even realize but that the Lord spared you from something. Amen. But his goodness, the Bible says that his goodness and his mercy will follow you all the days of his life. Listen, when, when, when the Lord spoke to me and he said, I didn't save you for your mom, I saved you for me. That's the Lord speaking to me. Well, that's the same message for each and every one of us here in this place. The Lord has spared you and saved you and has protected you and has loved you through this life. Amen. And so when we approach God, it's with that heart of thankfulness. Amen. It's with that heart of thanksgiving. Amen. So when we approach God, how do you approach the Lord? You approach him with that heart of thankfulness. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's how you come first, right? Always in the name of Jesus to God the Father, right? That's the way, right? Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. Lord, I thank you, Lord. And then you get to acknowledge the God and who he is in your life. Is he the Alpha and Omega in your life? Is he the healer? Is he the deliverer? Who is he in your life? And so who he is in your life, and if you think about it, he's everything, <laughs> right? Everything that's good comes from him. Right? So everything that's good in your life comes from him. So you could approach him with that heart of thankfulness saying, Lord, I thank you. Because I believe in your word and what you did. And so, Lord, I owe you everything. Amen. And that's a great way to approach Jesus when you're, you know, God the Father when you're, when you're praying. Amen. So make sure that you have a heart of thankfulness. Everybody say thanksgiving. Psalms chapter 100. Let's turn to it real quick. And we're just going to do, we're going to do this pretty quickly. 100, let me see here. It says in verse 4, it says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Amen. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generation. Can I get a witness? Amen. So when you enter in, that's how you enter in. The second thing that you want to do is you want to declare his word. Come on. You want to declare his word. So what does that mean? That means that this is what God wants to hear. Amen. This is the portion that the Lord wants to hear. Right. So when you declare his word, what are you doing? Again, by faith. Amen. You're declaring his word. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. You're taking his word. So imagine how your prayer life will literally be accelerated when you do this. Amen. So you come with thanksgiving. Then you begin to declare his word. And then you get to declare the promises of God. Can I get a witness there? Amen. Come on. The promises of God is God's proof that he, how much he loves you. And a lot of times they're conditional. And what it is is that the Lord wants you to prove your love through obedience. Amen. He says, for those who love me, they obey. Amen. Why do you obey? Because you love God. Because he's been faithful. Because he's been great. Because he's been absolutely amazing. Because the Lord saved you from what? Why are you, why are you thankful? Why are you grateful? And so then you get to declare the promises of God and what God promises for you. But not only just for you, but for your family. Amen. Come on. For your job situation, for your loved ones, for everything that could possibly be important, the Lord has a promise for. And that means that when you believe in his word, when you declare his word, when you declare his promises, where do you think your faith is going to go? Through the roof. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? Come on. Your faith is going to go through the roof as you declare the word of God, as you declare the promises of God, as you obey the promises of God, then you see the fruit of everything that he wants for you. And he wants to give you everything. Amen. Everything that's good for you, everything that's from heaven, the Lord wants to give to you. Amen. So that's a very good way to approach, approach the Lord. And then a lot of times, sometimes we talk too much after we get done praying. And sometimes the Lord just wants you to be quiet a little bit. How about that, guys? Maybe there's a time where you just want to meditate. Amen. Maybe after you say these things and you're stirred up in your spirit and you because guess what? When you when you think about what to be grateful for for the Lord, you're not going to run out of prayer. Do you understand what I mean? You can literally spend hours praying if you're pinpointed focus on what you're actually praying about. Amen. But then there's times to be quiet where the Lord wants to speak to you. So that's where you want to just tone it down and you want the Lord to speak to you and then one of the final greatest elements of prayer is then speaking in tongues. Amen. You speak in tongues. You speak in your heavenly language. You speak, you speak by the unction of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You don't know what to say. The Bible says if you don't know what to say, then what do you do? You stir yourself up. Amen. So you'll never run out of what to pray unto the Lord. 
but you definitely want to make sure that your prayer is not carnal and that your, that your prayer is in line with the word of God. Amen? So that hopefully this was a little helpful for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin to pray tonight, okay? So with that in mind, think about what you're believing God for tonight. Amen? The reason why we have testimonies is because God answers prayers. Hello? The reason why we have a testimony is because God literally came and answered a prayer. So prayer is essential to the Christian life. Amen. We know that Jesus, when he went to pray, how many times did he go to pray separate from the, he said, you guys chill here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go pray. And you know that prayer is spiritual because Jesus says in his word when he was rebuking Peter, he says, your spirit is willing but your flesh is weak. And that's why we have tongues as well. Amen. Come on, the Lord gives us tongues so that we could be stirred up in the faith so that, and we got the baptism of the Holy Ghost so that we could become a witness. And go figure that as you become a witness, then you witness the testimonies of God. Then you have something to talk about even more. Amen. And then you get to say, man, Lord, you keep using me in this and this and this. And, and all it is is you keep being obedient, obedient, obedient. You're, you're becoming obedient, an obedient servant. Amen. An obedient soldier. Amen. Come on, that's what it means, amen. So we will never run out of things to say. And we don't have to repetitiously, you know, be like the religious folks. Why? Because you know what? We get our sustenance from the Holy Ghost, amen. Amen. Come on, you guys. So you guys ready? You guys ready to pray tonight? Come on. All right. Well, everybody stand up. Let's get into that posture. And, and, and I'm telling you, the Lord is going to do something amazing tonight, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. We'll just listen to the song and you guys could just speak in tongues. Just pray. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on, tonight we're getting hungry. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, we are hungry, Lord, for you, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you come, Lord. Lord, you come, Lord, every single day of our lives. Lord, Lord, we can always come expecting from heaven, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you give us a hunger and a thirst for more of you. Lord, Lord, you give us, Lord, Lord, you place that hunger on the inside of us, Lord. Lord, we are hungry for your word. Lord, we are hungry for you. Lord, we are desperate for you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, God, Lord, that you give us your fire. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that it burns out all the dross. We thank you, Lord, Lord, that you purify us, God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you have implanted each in each and every one of us a hunger for more of you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you gave us of your spirit, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you baptize us in your Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, that you come to live on the inside of each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we are hidden. Your word says, Lord, that we are hidden with Christ, that we are hidden in God with Jesus. And so, Lord, we thank you, God. And so, Lord, we worship you, we praise you, we honor you, Lord. We lift up your holy name. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the everlasting God. Lord, when we drink from your well, Lord, we will never be thirsty again. Lord, when we have from you, we will never hunger again. And so, Lord, we thank you, Lord, because, Lord, you made a way where there seemed to be no way. You did it, Lord. And, Lord, we give you glory and we give you honor, Father God. And so, Lord, right now, Lord, we just pray, Father God, for you to increase us into the next level, into the next level of faith, into the next level of our mission, of our call, God. Lord, we come to honor you in that way, Lord, that we would be obedient to you. Come on, lift up your voice right now. Come on, lift up your voice. Holy Spirit, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We're so grateful, Lord, for what you've done in our lives, Lord. Lord, we're so grateful for the blood of Jesus, Lord, that washes from all of our sins. We're so thankful, Lord, that the blood of Jesus made us whole again. We're so thankful, Lord, that Jesus, you are the door. And Lord, you say for anyone who knocks, you will answer. And so, Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor. We thank you, 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 Lord. Lord, give us a bigger capacity to see how great you are, God. Lord, give us a deeper hunger, Lord. Lord, Lord, give us deeper revelation, Lord. Lord, I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, that you would enlighten us by your spirit, Lord. And Lord, that as we press it into your word, as we read your word, Lord, that revelation, that knowledge, and that wisdom would come forth from your word and that we would be activated according to your word. So Lord, we thank you, God, for that. And we thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. We thank you, 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 Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we lay everything at your feet right now. Lay everything at your feet. Whatever happened this week, whatever is happening in your personal life, Lord, we lay it down right now at the foot of the cross. We thank you, Lord, that you gave us a way, Lord. And Lord, you say, Lord, that we take up our cross, that we die to ourselves. We take up our cross and we follow you, Lord. So Lord, we crucify that flesh right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you are teaching us to do that every single day. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you've given us the ability to cast down vain imaginations and anything that it tries to exalt itself against your knowledge. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you give us the doorway that, that when temptation tries to come, God, Lord, you say, listen, I give you a way out. And Lord, you've given each and every one of us a way out. None of us are trapped, but we are free. And Lord, we will remain free because we are in you. 
For the Bible says that he that the Son sets free is free indeed. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this freedom. We thank you, Lord, for this freedom, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you made us righteous, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you justified us by your blood and you sanctified us by your blood. Lord, we give you glory and honor, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And, Lord, we declare your word over our lives, Lord. Lord, we declare your word over our families' lives. Lord, we declare your word over our situation. We will not believe the voice of the enemy, but we will believe the voice of our Jesus because we follow the shepherd. And so, Lord, we thank you, God, that we know your voice and that we only follow your voice. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, that you speak to us, Lord. And as you speak to us, Lord, we follow, Lord. Lord, we have an ear to hear and we have eyes to see, Lord. And, Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And, Lord, right now, Lord, I just pray for this church, Lord. Lord, we come into agreement right now. As a church family, Father God, Lord, we pray for this church, Lord. Lord, we thank you so much for this body, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you brought us here, Lord, and that you brought each and every one of us here in different times from different places through different scenarios, Lord. But, Lord, you knew exactly what you were doing, and, Lord, you brought us here so that we can be a part of this great vision, Lord, that you've given this house, Lord. Lord, that we would be a part of this mandate that we would be able to lift up the hands of our pastors, the pastors that you've put in our lives. Lord, that we, would be, that we would be able to lift your name up on high, Lord. And Lord, that we would be obedient servants to go out and reach the lost. We thank you, Lord, that this church is a soul winning church, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we don't just honor you with our lips, Lord, but that we honor you with our lips and that you have our hearts, Lord. Because, Lord, out of the abundance of the heart is how we speak. So, Lord, we thank you, God. We are not here to play any games, Lord. Lord, you have called each and every one of us to this place. You've called us for a mission, Lord. Lord, you've called us to take our place, Lord. And, Lord, we take our place in a place of honor towards you towards your call, towards what you want us to do, God. And so, Lord, we give you all glory and all honor, Father. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we will be a church that's known for our love. We thank you, Lord, that we will be a church that's known for our faith. We thank you, Lord, that we will be a church that will go out and reach the lost, Lord, and that nothing will ever stop us, Lord, but that we will continue to move forward in the mission that you called each and every one of us to do, and that is to affect the region, that is to affect our circle of influence, that is to affect our cities and our, and our towns and where we live, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that faith has been injected in each and every one of us in this place, Lord. Lord, we hear the word, Lord, and we act on faith, Lord, and we thank you for that, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for this love that binds each and every one of us as brothers and sisters. We thank you, Lord, that this love that binds each and every one of us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that it cannot be broken, that, they, that those cords cannot be broken. We thank you, Lord, that you brought us here in unity. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you brought us here through covenant, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you, that you set us in this place, Father God, because this place, Lord, this, this corporate anointing, Lord, this corporate place of worship, Lord, has literally changed so many of our lives, every single person that's here today. So, Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor, in Jesus' name, Lord. And so, Lord, we thank you for that right now. Come on, just take a couple of minutes and speak in your heavenly language right now. Come on, let's fill up the room with praise. We thank you, Lord, that you brought people here, Lord, that have different giftings, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you brought people here with a skill set, Lord, that you've blessed them with, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us a place, Father God, to be able to operate as one body to do many things within this body, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for that, Lord. Lord, we thank you for each and every person here in this place. Father God, we bless every person in this place right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the blessing, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing, Lord, that you've given each and every one of us. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we will be able to shine and that we will be able to shine bright in the name of Jesus.
I lift your voice. Rombo shadia saya katula mandia sobra. Kando brakandi le mandosa. Lord, we come in agreement right now with the build out of this house. All the resources right now. We call it in in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we call in the metal. We call in the steel. We call in every, every, all the wood. Anything that is needed for this house, Lord. Your word says whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Lord, we loose the resources now in Jesus' mighty name. We loose it now in Jesus' mighty name, and we thank you for it. This house will lack no thing. Oh, brambo, shati la mandosa, katele monda. Brondo, shati la mandera bosa. Brondo, we call in laborers to the harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Brondo, shati la mando, sombra mando, robo, sakati la mando, re. For every deal, let there be favor, Lord. Brondo shati la mandiasa. Bronde brosata la mandiaso. Brondo ria mandere bosakata. Lam brasite le bosata. Membro santa la mandia. Even as we transition into phase two, Lord, let it be flawless. Let it be flawless, Lord. No hiccups, even the permitting. Let it come at a speedy. In a speedy direction toward us in the mighty name of Jesus. Favor with the permitting, favor with the county, favor with the district. Brondo shatila mando saka te lo bosa. Mambro se ke te le dia sambro saka. Brendo shatila bosa. Lord, we thank you for it now. Brondo si la mando rebel sokota. Mende brosoto la mande. Mendo brondo. Monde brondo rodo mando brandere re mendere be soro mandi ananana mando brando nene Lord we thank you for the companies represented in this house Lord we thank you Lord as the vision is ripe in this house and and, and you're raising up business entrepreneurs every ministry represented here, every business represented. Lord, that as we go into the industries, we come with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We come with the authority from heaven. We come with the word of the Lord so that wherever we go, there will be a light that radiates in the darkness, Lord. We'll be the light of the industries in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that you would raise people up in this house, gifts that have been sitting, gifts that have been desolate. Lord, that you would raise it up and bring it to this house. Lord, we call it in now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. I speak to every hidden gift to awaken now in the mighty name of Jesus, to come to life, that we may be an oasis in a dry land, that when people see this church, they see the blessing of God. They walk on the property, and they're just astounded to see what God has done. Oh, <laughs> begin to thank him now. Begin to thank him now. There's hidden treasure waiting for you. Begin to thank him now. Begin to thank him now. Lift your voice. Rosam Ramandi Nambron Bondosa Catalamandia. Eh, Dabraba so Cotalamandia so. Oh, Ramandia so. And even as this church will go to the nations, Lord, the path is already paved. Rimando shakati la mando sabra, lim rambo shakati la mandia sobra kate, mambro shakati la. Lord, we even thank you for a favor with the local school system. Lord, that as we hit the high schools, the middle schools, with the youth facility, Lord, that we would have favor with every high school we come into contact with. Thank you, Lord. Every high school we come in contact with will catch on fire. The youth people will be drawn here. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It'll be like a lasso to the youth. They can't help but to come into this property. 
Even if they don't want to come, they want to come. We thank you, Lord, for it now. <laughs> we call it in now. Favor. Where there wasn't favor, there's favor now. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Come on, begin to come in agreement in this house. Be begin to come in agreement. Lord, we thank you for favor. Oh, we thank you for favor, Lord. Wherever the, the soles of our feet shall tread, the land is given unto us. Rondo shati la mande rebo saka. Brandi kantele do saka tala mandia sa. A kandele bo shati la kandele bo sa. Lam rambando rambandi ne momondo do bo saka tila basa. E bro sata la mandia so. Rombo shati la mandia sa bra kantele dia so. Brondo kandela bataka. Linge do bra mandia so bra mando shati la badia sa. Le brombondo ramandi nambro sakata la badia so. Nombre so tilandia so. Mendo bra kanti le dia so bra mando sakato la bodia rabasota. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Come on, keep your eyes on Jesus right now. Come on, we thank you, 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 Jesus, Lord. Lord, we just pray, Lord, right now, Lord. Lord, we come into agreement for a spirit of boldness to come upon each and every person in this house, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for that spirit of boldness, Lord, to preach your word, Lord. Lord, we thank, we thank you, Lord, for that spirit of boldness, Lord, to profess, Lord, the truth of God's word in this world, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just pray, Lord, because we want to honor you, Lord. We want to honor and steward what the word of God is in our hearts, Lord. And, Lord, we understand the truth because it set us free, Lord. And, Lord, we could see, we could see what's happening, Father God. So, Lord, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus and we come into agreement for every person here, Father God, that we are all called to be ministers of reconciliation that we are all called to go out with boldness lord lord in the fear of god lord not in the fear of man where we can boldly go lord and we could boldly preach your word proclaim your word lord and lord we thank you father god because there's going to be fruit behind that lord lord we thank you lord that as we go out in faith as we go in the spirit of boldness father god that the that people will come to Jesus. Lord, that the homosexuals will come to Jesus. That the drug addicts will come to Jesus. Lord, that the, that the person who does not consider themselves to be anything, the poor, the broken, Lord, that they would come to Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for that spirit of boldness, God, because we are called on an important mission, God, and that is to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. That is to set the captives free. Lord, we thank you, God that you give us this word of love, Lord. Lord, that the very act of us going out of reaching the lost is a sign and it is a demonstration of your love, God. And so, Lord, I pray for that spirit of boldness. I come against that spirit of fear right now. Anything that tries to tangle you up in your mind, anything that tries to stop you from saying what, because you are being intimidated, we command that to go right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, for that spirit of boldness, Lord, to come upon each and every one of us God and Lord when we do it we will do it in faith we will do it to honor you we will do it for you Lord and we will do it with you God and we thank you Lord because we are not alone Lord as co-laborers Lord we get to witness your glory we get to witness your miracles we get to witness the baptism of the Holy Ghost we get to see those who had a death sentence on their life Lord that they would be free in the name of Jesus so Lord even right now for those who are sick, the ones that we know who are sick, the family members, the ones who are facing cancer, the ones who are facing any deathly disease, any disease at all, we Lord come against that in the name of Jesus and we proclaim the blood of Jesus over their life right now because 2,000 years ago you took our sickness, you took our disease, you took our sins upon you on the cross, you bore it and it died and it was left there. So Lord we thank you God because you are the resurrected King and Lord you paid the price God so Lord you paid
paid a price for us to be bold. You paid a price for us to operate in the anointing. You paid a price to operate in signs and wonders and miracles so that we can make you famous, Lord, so that when the world will see the good works that your people have done, that they would glorify you in heaven. So, Lord, we give you glory and honor, Father God. And, Lord, we pray for that spirit of boldness to come upon each person here. Lord, let it be done in the name of Jesus in our everyday life, whether we do it corporately or privately, Father God, Lord. Lord, you will give us the words to say. You will give us what you, because of your word, you give us those words, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, by faith in Jesus' name. Come on, church, lift your voice to heaven. Let heaven hear you right now. Let heaven hear you, church. We're here to pray. We're here to be bold. If you come in this place indifferent, understand that your tongue is the bottleneck. And if you change your tongue, you change your life. And when you begin to pray here today, corporately, you're confessing the will of God over your life here personally and corporately. So as we continue to pray tonight, lift your voices. Begin to be bold. Begin to lift your voice to heaven. Everybody stand up in this place. Begin to lift your hands to heaven where you're at right now. Come on, church, let your voice be heard by heaven right now. I release boldness in this place. I release boldness in this place. I thank you, Lord, that we have the ability to bind and loose. And we are here to loose and bind on behalf of heaven today. We came to loose and bind on behalf of heaven today. We have land and territory to take over. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Rembam rambo so kerebeshi. Come on, it's like a river. A river out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Not repetitive, not, a, not, not great words of eloquence, but a river, a river of living water you shall pour yourself out. Come on, begin to worship. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that wealth is chasing us like deers chase after water. I thank you, Lord, that the same prosperity that Elijah had when these birds would come and go after him and give him prosperity and provision. I thank you that that spirit is on this church. I thank you, Lord, that those that connect their hearts, their finances, their times to this church and to this vision, that you will bless them and bless them and bless them. I thank you for a spirit of prosperity in this place. I thank you for a culture of prosperity in this place, that everybody who is connected to this vision shall not lack. I thank you, Lord, that provision will be on our lips. I thank you, Lord, that your El Shaddai, the God of more than enough. I thank you, Lord, that you are our Jehovah Jireh, the God of provision, who will provide for us. I thank you, Lord, that our families will not know lack because of the blessing attached to our life. I thank you, Lord, that when we walk into places, people know surely the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is upon your life. I thank you, Lord, that when we step into places of doubt, the doubt will be succumbed by the blessing of God. Yes. 
I thank you, Lord, that you even cause my enemies to bless me. I thank you, Lord, that everything that's been stolen from us, everything that the enemy tried to make for evil and for our wrongdoing, to try to attempt to crooked the path, I thank you, Lord, that you're strengthening the path even now. I thank you, Lord, that the devil has to repay us seven times over. I thank you, Lord, that not only does God have to bless us, but the devil is forced to bless us. I thank you, Lord, that we have an anointing to create wealth for the purpose of establishing your kingdom. I thank you, Lord, that everywhere our feet shall tread, we shall walk in own thereof. I thank you, Lord, that land, houses, property, territories, businesses are coming into our hands for the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I thank you, Lord, that our house, our family's house, our children's house shall flow with milk and honey. I thank you, Lord, that we will know the blessing of Abraham. I thank you, Lord, for the anointing to create wealth. I thank you, Lord, for gifts springing up in this place. I thank you, Lord, for talents springing up in this place. I thank you, Lord, for creative ideas springing up in this place. I thank you, Lord, for inventions, supernatural ways of doing things, supernatural deal flow, creative ways of doing things we've already done. I thank you, Lord, for witty things in industries we didn't see before. Supernatural investments, supernatural positioning that will be ahead of the curve, positioned, ready to ride whatever comes for ours. I thank you, Lord, that you're positioning us in a place of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I'm going to read some scriptures. And as I do, begin to believe this over yourself. And as I say these scriptures, I want you to receive them for yourself. Come on, lift your voice. We're here to pray. We're not here to be indifferent and silent. We're here to honor the Lord with our substance, which is our tongue. We're here to honor him with our time. And when we pray, we don't do it at without a, an arrow attached to it. We do it praying specifically. And we're here to pray right now that we'll be blessed and never look back. If you're struggling with poverty in this place, never look back after today. Begin to run after the things of God. You are blessed and that is what the word of God says. God has blessed me abundantly and I am a blessing. The Lord makes all that I do prosper in my hands. Because the Lord is with me, all that I do prospers greatly. Come on, is that you? The Lord delights in me. He has brought me into a land that flows with milk and honey. For the Lord my God has blessed me greatly in all the works of my hands. God is faithful. Come on, say, God is faithful. He keeps his covenant and mercy to them that love him. God loves me. He blesses me and multiplies me abundantly. I am blessed above all all people God has brought me into a good abundant land I eat without scarceness and I do not lack any good thing God has given me the power to create wealth so that his covenant shall be established I rejoice in all that I put my hand to because God has blessed me abundantly God has brought me into this place he has given me this land that flows abundantly all the blessings of Abraham have come on me in abundance and have overtaken me and my family. Woo! I thank you, Lord, that you've commanded a blessing upon me and on my storehouse and all that I set my hands to do. I thank you, Lord, that you've abundantly blessed me in this land. I thank you, Lord, that you've opened unto me good treasure and to give rain to my land and bless all the work of my hand. I will lend and I will not borrow. I am the head, and I am not the tail. I am above only, and I am not beneath. I'm blessed in the city, and I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed going in, and I'm blessed going out. I am strong and courageous. I turn not to the right, I turn not to the left, but I prosper wherever I go. The Lord makes me abundantly rich, and He lifts me up. 
I believe in God's prophets, therefore I prosper. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. I bring forth my fruit in season, and my leaf does not wither. And everything that I do prospers abundantly. This is going to be you. This is going to be your story. The Lord continues to bless me. Everywhere that I turn, there's a bag of treasure laid up for my family and I. Everywhere that I turn, there you are, Lord. Everywhere that I go, there's treasure in hidden places. As I stay faithful, as I stay linked up to the anointing, as I stay linked up to the root where you're building me, where you plant, where you planted me, and where you're watering me, you will continuously build me. You will continuously prune me so I can bear more fruit. I thank you, Lord, for this word. I thank you, Lord, that you'll use us, that you'll build us up, Lord, that you'll raise us up as an influence to this body, not just to the body, but to the world, that will be so wealthy, that will be so abundantly rich, that will be so abundantly influential, that they cannot have another option other than to look at us and see the glory of God, saying, surely the blessing of Abraham is on these people. And we will stand in a place of glory. And we will take it, Lord, and give it right back to you. We will honor you with our substance, with our heart, and with our time. And we will never take the glory for ourselves. We will steward this great anointing, which is the wealth in the natural. And we will take it and give it right back to you, Lord. We thank you, Father. I pray, Lord, that you pour out a blessing so big that even we can't even hold it, Lord, that it would flow from the top, that this oil, this anointing would flow and overflow, that we would pour out even onto the people that curse us, Lord. Father, we bless our enemies even now in the name of Jesus. We bless those that have cursed us. We pray for them. We say we love you. We bless them, Lord. This blessing will be so tangible that when we walk, even people that have scrutinized us, even people who have criticized us will say, surely there's something different about this man. I have to know, what have you done over the years? How is it that you're so wealthy, so successful at the age that you are? How is it that you carry this wisdom? It is the wisdom of heaven. Do you know him? For you will be a beacon of light to the ministry of heaven. I thank you, Lord, for this. Let it be done. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, church. Let's lift up our voices right now. Don't, don't, don't die out. Amen. Come on, press in, press in. Just close your eyes. Just focus on Jesus right now. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, Lord, that you sent your son. We thank you, Lord, that you raised your son from the dead and that he's seated at your right hand. We thank you, Lord, that Jesus asked you to send your spirit, Lord, so that your spirit could live on the inside of us. We thank you, Lord, that your promises are yes and amen. We thank you, Jesus, that your promises are yes and amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you come to show us who we are in you. And at the same time, we don't forget where we came from. But Lord, because of that, Lord, we are grateful, Lord, for what you've done. We're grateful, Lord, for everything that you've done. Lord, we're grateful, Lord, because we don't even recognize ourselves a year from a year ago or two years ago or five years ago. Lord, we thank you, Lord that we are believers and that we are spiritual men, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are continuously bringing us from glory to glory. Come on, is that something to be thankful for right now? The Lord is continuing 
to raise you up, to bring you from glory to glory. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you give us your mind, God. Lord, we thank you that your word says that we have the mind of Christ. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, Lord. We thank you that your word says that we get to praise you because you lead us in triumph in Christ. So that we would be able to diffuse the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. We thank you, Lord. Come on, let's be grateful. Let's be thankful right now. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for everything that you've done, God. Lord, we love you, Lord. You are our strength, Lord. You are our rock, Lord. You are our fortress. You are our deliverer, Lord. Lord, you are our strength, Lord. And you and you alone do we trust, Lord. You are our shield and the horn of our salvation. You are our strong stronghold. Come on, church, begin to declare this over your life right now. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We thank you, Lord, that your word says we can do all things through Christ who gives us the strength, Lord. So we give you glory and honor for that. We thank you, Lord, that through your word you say fear not, but only trust you, have faith in you, Lord. We thank you, God, that you come to strengthen each and every one of us. Lord, that you come to refresh us with your word. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you give us power, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you increase our strength, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are with us, Lord, all the days of our life. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, Lord. Even though at times we have not been faithful, Lord, Lord, your faithfulness still remains, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your spirit comes to rebuke and to correct, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that through that rebuke and correct, you show us your love, God. Lord, you straighten us out, Lord, so that we can do the right thing in your eyes, Lord. The right thing, Father God. Come on, the Lord has established you in his presence. Amen. Come on, do you believe that? The Lord has established you for such a time as this. The Lord has established you to do great things in the name of Jesus for his good pleasure. The Lord is faithful. Amen. Come on. He is your guard. He is your shield. He is everything. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you supply us, Lord, with everything that we need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Come on. We do not lack. Amen. Come on. We do not lack, but we have everything that we need from him. We thank you, Jesus, that you lit our path, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you lit our path, God. And Lord, that you are the way, that you are the truth, and that you are the life, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are overcomers, Lord, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord, for everything is in Christ, Lord, and you've given him to us, Lord. So, Lord, we worship you and we magnify your name. Come on, let's lift up our voices. We only got another... 30 minutes. Come on, let's let's press in, press in. Come on, what do you believe in God for? Come on, let's pray the perfect will of God through speaking in tongues. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we love you, we love you, we love you. 
Jesus, we love you. We thank you, Lord, that you are that wind, Lord, that we need. We thank you, Lord, that you are our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are the focus, Lord. Lord, we set our heart in your hands, Lord. Lord, we give you everything right now, Lord. Lord, we worship you. We honor you. We praise your holy name. We thank you, Jesus, for our families, Father God. Lord, right now, we lift up the families right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our wives, Lord. We thank you for our children, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our loved ones, Father God. Lord, we just pray, Father God, Lord, for our families, Father God, and Lord, that you would that you would continuously help us, Lord, to lead, Lord, to lead with strength, Lord, to lead with purity, Father God, to lead the way that you want us to lead. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you make us the light in many of our families' lives, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you highlight us to our families. And even though sometimes family may not understand, Lord, we understand, Father God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, because we get to approach them with your love, with your goodness, with your kindness. We get to be a conduit. We thank you, Lord, that we get to be a representative, that we get to represent Jesus to our families, Father God, whether they're lost or whether they're saved, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we represent you, God, and that, Lord, when we do it, we do it with honor, Lord. We do it unto you, God. We thank you, Lord. Lord, let it let our light shine, Lord, so much before men that they would glorify you in heaven. Come on, let's not let it go flat. Come on, come on, let's let come on. You are the spice. You are the sea. You are salted. You got flavor. We thank you, Jesus, Lord. Come on, begin to thank him right now where you're at. Come on, lift up your voice and just thank him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, I thank you for the families of this house. I thank you, Lord, for the children in this house. I thank you, Lord, for strength, for strong families in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for strong family units in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for grace on each member of the family to play their role in excellence, to rise up to the occasion, to be the men of the house, to be the women of the house, to be children that honor and serve you, Lord, children that honor and serve their parents. I thank you for supernatural grace on the families in this house. I thank you, Lord, as they put you first, as they put your house first, Lord, that you honor them. As they honor you, you honor them. As they make your house a priority, you make their house a priority, Father. I thank you, Lord, for every need being met in the families of this house, above and beyond. I thank you, Lord, that you surprise them, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you show off in their life, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for children who have gone away from you, that this year they come back in the name 
name of Jesus. We call them saved. We call them healed. We call them restored in Jesus' name. We come against every attack of the enemy, against our families, against our children, against our loved ones. We command it to cease and desist in the name of Jesus. We call them back for the kingdom of God. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, the power of the enemy, the power of sin is broken over their life. In the name of Jesus, they will serve the Lord for the remainder of their days. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for prodigal sons and daughters coming home, for a quickening on that. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, that you send your angels as ministering spirits to go and to bring them to bring them through even angelic visitations, Father God. I thank you for supernatural deliverance, for supernatural things to take place, Father. I pray that you send labors. I pray for labors to come across their path, to speak the gospel, to speak the truth, to send a move of God in their direction. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. We thank you for victory. We thank you, Lord, for salvations of our loved ones. In the name of Jesus, for every word that has been spoken to them, we call it to remembrance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, your word says that the Spirit of God confirms the word with signs and wonders. So we thank you, Lord, that you go to confirm the word that has been planted in them, the word of God that has been spoken in them. And we command that word to bear fruit in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for those in sin, everything they try to do outside of your will, everything they try to do in sin, will come to nothing. It will fail in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord for soft hearts. I thank you, Lord, that they'll humble themselves under your mighty hand, Lord, that they'll humble your, themselves under your mighty hand, and that those hard hearts will be turned to hearts of flesh. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for our children, for your hand on their life. I pray for a hedge of protection around them, body, soul, and spirit. I thank you, Lord, all of the garbage that is in the world will not touch them. The evil that's in the world will not touch them. I thank you, Lord, that they walk with a supernatural hedge of protection around them. I thank you, Lord, that ungodly influences will be cut off of their life in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, you give our children boldness, boldness to serve you with fervency, boldness to stand up for righteousness in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that the word of God sown into them will become revelation, that our children will walk with supernatural revelation that they'll have wisdom beyond their years, that they'll have an understanding of your word and a hunger for the things of God that far surpasses their age. I thank you, Lord, that you assign uh, relationships, godly relationships, godly influences in their life that will help steer them in the right direction in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. Your word says that we, our children, will be established in your house and your favor will be on them, Lord. I thank you for supernatural favor on our children's lives in the name of Jesus, for supernatural favor on their lives, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for strong families. We thank you, Lord. I pray for the marriages of this church in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for supernatural unity in Jesus' name, Lord, that you bind them with cords that cannot be broken. I thank you, Father God, that there will be no bitterness, there will be no resentment, there will be no things of the past in coming into this new season. I thank you, Lord, for just a grace to forgive. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that these marriages will be beacons of light to everyone who knows them, that they'll see God in their life, they'll see God in their union, Father. And as we we run towards the things of God as we put your house first and the plan and the purpose of God in our life first, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that everything we have need of, everything that concerns them will be handled, will be met in abundance in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray, Father, for a supernatural 
desire and a hunger for souls to come on each and every member of this church, that a passion for the lost would burn within us in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we'll see more souls come into this church than in all of the years combined in the second half of this year. Lord, give us your heart for people. Let us see them like you see them. Let us love them like you love them, Father. Put a passion in us for people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, the same way you came to seek and save the lost. Give us that hunger. Give us that desire to win the lost to you, to preach the gospel. Thank you for a holy boldness to preach the gospel. I thank you, Lord, for divine appointments and opportunities to share your word, Father. I thank you, Lord, that this church will be known as a church that wins the lost, Father. Lord, we ask you to supernaturally draw people to this house from the north, south, east, and west. We thank you, Father, that you draw them here so they can have an encounter with you, an encounter with your word, an encounter with your presence, Father. We pray for all these high schools that are going to connect with us. And in the name of Jesus, we thank you for favor with administration. We thank you for favor with teachers and all the right doors opening. We thank you, Father God, that the gospel will go into these high schools and will shake them with the power of God. God, Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for supernatural favor in the high schools. I thank you, Lord, for a hunger, a hunger in these young people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you give our young people a supernatural grace to keep you first, to stay free from sin. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord. As they put their eyes on you, as they press into the things of God, I thank you that they will have no desire for the things of the world, no desire for anything that is ungodly, anything that is unrighteous, Lord, that they would run from it, that they would have a grace to run in the opposite direction of the worldly things, Father. I pray, Father, you give them a holy boldness to stand up for righteousness, to stand up for truth, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for strong families. Strong families, Lord. Strong families, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I thank you, Lord, that our homes, not just this church, but our homes will be marked with your peace, Father with your peace, Lord, that our homes would be sanctuaries, that our homes would be places of worship, Father, where you're honored, not just on a Sunday morning, but you're honored everywhere we go, every single day, every day we wake up, that our homes will be a place where your presence abides, where you live, where you can speak to us, where you can commune with us, Father. I thank you, Lord, that our homes would be places of rest, places of peace, places of blessing, places of joy, places of your goodness, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for even a, just a desire in your people. Lord, to go after you, to hunger for you, a hunger for the things of God, a hunger for your word, a supernatural revelation of your word, Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this church. We call everything done in Jesus' name. Every project, every resource, every relationship needed to complete the build out of this place. I thank you, Lord. You bring it in supernaturally, Father. And I pray a special blessing over every single person who has been involved in this church been involved in the building process. I thank you, Lord, for your blessing on their life, that you would multiply it back to them. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, an overflow of blessing into their life as they've connected, as they've come around to lift up the hands of the vision on this place, Lord. I thank you for your corporate blessing and your corporate anointing flowing into their life and into their family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Come on. Just thank him. If he's been good to you, just thank him. Just thank him. Begin to praise him. Begin to thank him. Begin to worship him. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to consider all the things that you've been praying for, all the things you've been believing God for. And I want you to lift up your voice and thanks to God like it's done because faith counts it done without any proof in the natural. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for those unsaved loved ones coming home. We thank you, Lord, for a supernatural debt cancellation. We thank you, Lord, for supernatural provision, for lands, for homes, for buildings, for jobs, for business, for all the things that we didn't labor for, but we'll walk in it. We'll take it, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for wholeness, for restoration, for health. I thank you, Lord, for peace. I thank you, Lord, for all your goodness in our our life father you're so good lord you're so good father you're so good jesus <laughs> you're gooder than good you're better than good <laughs> thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord you've been only but good to us you've only been faithful you're so worthy god we love you jesus we worship you we give you praise in this place father we give you honor we give you glory we thank you jesus we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we get a hallelujah in this place? Hallelujah. hallelujah. How many of you feel better since the way you came in, huh? Right? There's something about when you come, and I know we just came out of like a weekend of revival, but there's something when you come and you connect to heaven, you connect with, with what's this, the service that's continually going on there, it's going to lift you. Amen? It's never enough. It's never like, okay, well, I got topped off and I'm, I'm good for, you know. No, no. Like we have to stay plugged in. Amen? We got to stay hooked up. And I know like so many of us, we intend to make time you know, during the day and during the week to get in the presence of God and get in a time of prayer. But then, like, so many distractions come, right? Like this thing, that thing, the phone rings, the, the dog poops, the kids wake up, whatever it is, you know? Like, there's always something that's going to be trying to pull you away from the presence of God. You know that? There's always going to be that distraction there. So I thank God for these times where we can, like, really just set it aside, you know? We're doing this once a month, a prayer night like this. And and I'm personally very grateful for it. So, but don't just wait for the once a month. Do it at home too. But like, what a blessing that we get to come and have like intentional time to pray. And you know, like, so you don't even realize like how sometimes you just pick up things, burdens and distractions and worries and concerns and all this stuff. And you don't even realize like you're carrying that around. We've got to continually be throwing that at the Jesus. Amen. We got to be continually going before his throne with our needs, with our honor with everything. Amen. You got to stay hooked up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we're going to do two things here before we finish up. Um, and one of them, if you want to sit, you can stand. If you want to stay standing, that's fine too. We're going to give you an opportunity to sow because every Wednesday night we're taking up an offering and this goes entirely to the building project, which is ongoing. <laughs> but I mean, thank you, Jesus, for phase one being done. Can we get a hallelujah? I think everybody's like, hallelujah. But there's so many things happening around here, um, like with the future plans. There's things happening behind the scenes. We got surveys happening and um, all the things and, and, the, and, and the new plans. We got a studio going in. So God's been so good, and we're so grateful. Listen, if we've said it once, we'll say it again and probably another thousand times. But we're so grateful for all of you guys who have pressed in, who have, like, taken ownership of this with us. You know, not just in your finances, but in your blood, your sweat, your tears, coming, serving, working. Like, you know, it was no, nothing short of a miracle what you guys pulled off to get this ready for a revival weekend this past weekend. And I tell you what, though, there was such a peace to it. Like, it didn't feel like we were struggling or striving or stressing, at least not on my end. Maybe some of y'all felt like that, but I didn't feel like that. Okay, the women's conference, I did a little bit. I was like, woo! We were like hooking up things at 6.59 <laughs> before service started. This wasn't like that. There, there, I, I would say we've, we've leveled up, all right? There was such a, a smoothness to it. 
you know, and even though everybody was working very hard, it, there was a flow, and, you know, and we're just so grateful for all of you guys and everything you've come and put in, and, um, and I want to, what I want to share with you, you know, the Lord put this on my heart the other day, and so I'll share it now, but it's that God is no man's debtor, amen? God is no man's debtor. He is not, he doesn't owe anybody anything. You know why? Because he makes good on his promises. That's why. He is no man's debtor. So when you're coming and you're sowing your time and you're working and you're sweating or you're sowing your resources or you're sowing your skills, your talents, your abilities, your, your time in children's church, away from the meeting, whatever it is, whatever you're sowing, God is no man's debtor. So you got to know that you have good seed and good soil, and you're sowing not to a, a church or a person or an organization. You're sowing to the Lord. Amen? And he is no man's debtor. So you need to prepare yourself and position yourself and be an expectation that I'm on God's receiving radar. I'm on God's receiving end because he knows the heart that we give with, you know? Like he's watching. He's watching when we come and we give with a, a cheerful heart. He's watching when we come and we sow of our time and our ability and our treasure with a, with a cheerful heart. And he takes notice of that. You know, Pastor Alex talked about it the other night, how God took notice of how nobody built him a house for all those years, from generation to generation. After he did all that he did to bust them out of Egypt through all these miraculous signs and wonders, God took notice that no one did that. But let me tell you, God takes notice when someone does build him a house. God takes notice when you come and plug into his house when you're here and you're showing up and you're pouring in and you're giving up your time and your talent and your treasure, God takes notice. That's a good place to be in. Amen. That's a good position to be in. So I want to encourage you with that. God is no man's debtor. And the Bible says, God is not mocked in this principle that whatever a man sows, he will reap good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. <laughs> will men give into your bosom? Amen. For with the measure you deal out, it'll be measured back to you. Amen? And that's really all I had to say. And she knows she knows I'm done. She's like, Mom, your time's up. But as we sow, I'm sure you've had time. You know how to do the thing. Um, the ushers are going to pass the buckets. We're going we're gonna to finish out tonight with a song. And we're just, there's no words. But hopefully you know it. It's I Thank God. You know, we sang it um, during women's conference. It became like our theme song. But I want you guys, you know, as we close out, we're going to stand up. We're going to sing this song. And I want you to truly consider. I know we did it a little bit here at the end. But I want you to truly consider all that you're believing God for, all that you're pressing in for. And I want you to go there in the spirit. If you've got to close your eyes, that's fine. Whatever you got to do. But go there in your spirit and see it done. Count it done. Faith counts the thing done without any proof in the natural. So the thing you're believing God for, the unsaved loved one being saved. The situation with your house, with your car, with your whatever, with your finances, with your job, with just stuff in your own heart, whatever it is, health in your body. Believe that it's done. Consider it done. And praise God like it's done. Praise God like you got the report back from the doctor and it says cleared. Praise God like you've seen your loved one answer the altar call and have a radical encounter with God. Let's praise him like that. Let's praise him like it's already done. Amen? Because that, you know, praise is the voice of our faith. Amen? That's what it is. That's why, you know, praise is not just something like we do to, like, put a cherry on the end of the service or, you know, get us a warm-up for worship. No. Praise is, like, our action. It's us getting it, getting it spiritually. Amen? It's getting what we're believing for in the spirit realm. And your praise will give voice to that. So even in the times where maybe you are challenge or you are struggling, you got to you gotta crank up that praise music and you praise your way through it to the other side. Amen? Amen? All right, so stand to your feet. Let's just bless this offering. Father, we, we give this offering to you tonight as worship. We pour it out on you, Father God, as worship. We thank you, Lord, that as our praise is the highest form of our faith, we thank you, Lord, that our giving is the highest form of our worship. So, Lord, we worship you tonight. We're not letting tonight go by without worshiping you. We worship you tonight, Lord, and now we're going to praise you. We're going to thank you for all that you've done, for all that you're doing, all you have yet to do, Father, and we just thank you. I thank you for a special 
special blessing on every person in this house, Father. I thank you, Lord, that tonight they leave refreshed, they leave encouraged, and they leave in great expectation of all that you're doing and all that's going to unfold in the days and in the weeks to come. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. DJ, push that button. <laughs>
I love you guys. We're going to finish out for tonight, but what an awesome night. Amen? And while I have everybody's undivided attention, because it's already June something something, like the middle of June basically, I forgot. We're having Friends and Family Sunday this Sunday. Okay? Woohoo! Okay. But let me explain something to you real quick about Friends and Family Sunday because some of y'all don't make it for announcements. And some of us, ha I think we just haven't clearly described what this is. Friends and Family Sunday is a special Sunday where you invite your friends and your family to come to church. So it's like if any Sunday they could come, invite them for this Sunday. We're going to have a big potluck afterwards, so you got to sign up on the potluck dish. We are going to have a, an award for the best dish, okay? So let me see. And I'm talking like a good, a good prize, all right? We don't play around here. So you need to bring your best dish. Make sure you put um, what you're bringing on the potluck dish so we don't got like 10 mac and cheeses. Although if they're from Charlie, I wouldn't mind at all. So, um, but anyways, Charlie should be disqualified from the competition. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. We would never do that. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not. We'll have a, a prize for Charlie, and then we'll have, like, a second place prize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but also this Sunday we're presenting all of our new members. So it's a special Sunday. Don't miss it. This Sunday, Friends and Family Sunday, and that's all the announcements for now. I love you guys. Bye.